Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. This is the continuation of our RHCSA practice exam series and we are at question number 15. So this question is about auto FS and uh, most of the people find this task very challenging. But we will try to solve it in a very simplified manner. So before we proceed with this question, I let me remind you that I showed you my lab setup uh, video uh, that video is very important if you haven't watched it I suggest you to go and watch that video this is how we created our lab and I told you that we will be solving all the questions on node 0 1 and 2 but we created this server so we have used this server for our DNF repository over HTTP we use this server as a NTP server and now we will be configuring this server as a NFS server as well so I'll include that in, our, in, in this video how to create an FS server and then we will be solving that question. So now you remember the important, you know the importance of uh, having this server in the lab. So this helps us create or simulate the same environment as exam. So let's go and begin. So this question is about configuring auto FS and auto mount uh, the directory, home directory for user auto FS 01. All right. Uh, our NFS server will be this one, export shared will be slash shared and home directory for that user will be on the NFS server which is server 01 shared user auto FS. Then user auto FS home directory should be auto mounted locally at shared as shared on node 2. Right. So as I told you earlier we will be we are performing all the remaining tasks on node 2. So this task will be performing on node 2. Now home directory must be writable by user when login as user auto. Okay. So we will demonstrate that. So let's begin and try to configure NFS server. Uh, it's a very straightforward procedure. So I have I will be I will be pasting this these instructions in the description section. Okay. So let's go ahead and this is our server. server 01 so let's go ahead on the server I'm using my account uh, it has the sudo access so we should be able to install okay enable and start NFS server I'm going very quickly I have pasted this note so you can follow the instruction from the description below then we'll check the status NFS server is active enable and it's running okay so let's create a shared directory for nfs mount let's create a shared directory we'll change the mode this is i'm changing this mode 777 just for the demo purpose there is a security document how to how to apply security for nfs so that's not the subject of our video right now so Added the export file. Write this. Add this line in your export file. This is the IP address of my client, which is node 02, and this directory will be sharing for this node in read write mode. And read about this node root squash why we are using it. So we'll add this line, and that's it. We will export either we can use this or we can restart the NFS server. This is a better way of doing it, exporting to this one. All right, then we have to add these services for our NFS auto mount client to access the NFS server. So we have to run this one. Let me clear the screen. We have to run this one. We will be adding the NFS mount D and these services to our firewall. Okay, as always, just reload the firewall and that's it. Our NFS server is ready. Now we will be performing this additional additional step. We'll create this user for demo purpose. So maybe in your exam lab, uh, it would al already be their username, maybe anything, uh, anything other than this one. So just to demonstrate how it will work, let me create a user, let me create a group and keep keep in mind that I'm keeping this uh, group ID 
and user ID. Same for server and client for it to work without any issue. So I'm adding the user and just take a note of this one. I'm using slash shared as home directory for this user because we will be sharing it across server and clients, right? And I'm making this one as this user, this group as primary group of this server of this user. All right, let's set the password as well for this one. Welcome hash, welcome hash. All right, so this user is created. Now this completes our NFS server configuration. Now, following steps, we will be performing on node 02. But before we start, before we begin solving the question, let me go to this node 02. This is our node 02. This is where we will be configuring auto FS. Now, now, before that, again, I'm creating this user because this user, this group and this user, this group and this user should already exist in the exam. If it is not, they will exclusively ask you to create. Them. They will exclusively ask you to create this. Okay. Now, this is all set up. Uh, from this point onwards, we will be actually solving the question. Let's quickly review the question. So we, this is the question, read it, and we will be configuring auto FS on this client for this user and use this as a shared uh, NFS mount for the user on both server 01 and node 02. All right. So let's get back to the document. Now, you have to install these two packages on node 02 to start installing, configuring AutoFS. Okay. That is done. Now, the AutoFS. Now, AutoFS is installed. AutoFS basically reads, this is the configuration file which AutoFS. Now, pay special attention because this is why, this is where everybody gets confused and mess up out here. Up until this point, everything was straightforward. This is also simple, but just pay special attention. This is the configuration file for AutoFS. This is the master configuration file, which AutoFS daemon reads. So we will go and see what is what is in it. All right, we'll open this master file. If you see, it's not a very long file, but it has certain uh, parameters, all right? So what we will do, or what AutoFS engine do, it searches for this shared disk, all right, and this file tells it that this SharePoint has the configuration file present. Now, all the configuration for this share is there in this file. So, this is what exactly we are going to do. We are going to add a line telling AutoFS, sorry. Telling to control X control Z. Control Z. Where did I do? Where is this one? Sorry. Okay. Uh, so we will be we will be telling AutoFS that this shared disk, this shared NFS mount for this shared NFS mount read the configuration from this file. So we will be creating this file shortly. So we are telling AutoFS that for this shared uh, desk, NFS share, uh, read the configuration from this file. All right. This naming convention, you can follow your own. Then we will go and create that file. Okay. That's empty file. We created. There was no file, but we created it. And we configured for that shared NFS, we configured this line. Okay, so we are configure. We are telling this uh, auto FS that mount everything. Start means everything in read write mode. Read about soft and integer. I'm not going into the detail. So a server and the shared mount point. M percent means everything from it. Okay. Okay. So that's done. Now we will just restart the auto FS. Okay. 
okay we restarted the auto fs we still don't see it now the user you remember we created a user on on the node 02 as well so user auto fs is there and its uh, home directory is this one let's see what happens if we switch to this user okay on node 02 we switch to this user and we are mounted our shared directory and you can see the moment I switched it mounted the directory on shared zero. So I am here, I am logged in, I am able to. Let's go, let's go through a quick test. Now I am on node 02 as this user, user auto fs01. Let me create a file vi uh, from node 0 to txt. We will type hello from node 0 to. Okay. We created this file here. Mind you, this is the actually NFS share. This we have this directory is shared from NFS. We will just demonstrate that. Let's go to the server and let's switch to that user. There is that user, this one. Welcome hash. You see the same directory. If you go there, we can see this file. So our AutoFS is working. Now, what we will do, we'll do two things for the quick test. What we will do to check the read and write. Hello from server 01 we can read and edit your file okay we edited that and then we will create from server 01.txt and we will say from server 01 do you copy Okay, we will go to node 01 and see if that file exists. It does. Let's go and read. Yes, we copy. Thanks. That's it. This is the this is the configuration of AutoFS. How simple was that? So there is no uh, complication in that if you follow the procedure correctly. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.